Hey everyone, Sarah here, uh, AKA Lady Burn. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my new Lady Burn presets pack for Lightroom and ACR. And I'm just gonna go through and edit a few images for you guys so you can get an idea of how I use them. Uh, there'll be a link below in the description if you wanna check them out. Um, but uh, let's get into it. So first thing I wanna say about editing is there's no real right or wrong way to edit an image. It's really about a personal aesthetic and a personal preference. I'm gonna show you how I edit photos, but if you wanna edit them in a different way, I totally encourage that, and I encourage you to, to experiment and to create your own aesthetic. So these presets are meant to be a really good starting place. Some of the presets are really subtle. Some of them have more intensity to them. Some of them will look perfect with one click, but most of the time you are going to need to adjust the temp the tint and the exposure. This is basically all you're gonna need to mess around with with these presets. Every once in a while, you're gonna wanna play with the contrast, and maybe some of these as well, but this is generally where you're gonna wanna stick. Okay, so you see over here on this left-hand side, we have the Lady Burn Presets tab, and we have all 14 presets here. We have 12 color and two black and white. Uh, they're numbered and named. The names don't really mean much other than I just wanted to give them names for fun. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just click through each of these so you guys can get an idea of how they change the image. So this first one, Lovers, is already on here. Um, and all I did with this is I brought back the exposure, I brought up the temp a little bit, and I brought back the tint. So as shot with that is, this is how it looks originally. I wanted it just to be slightly warmer and I often bring back the tint um, in a lot of photos because Canon files tend to be really magenta. So that is it. I'm gonna show you the before and the after and that's lovers. Now I'm just gonna click through the rest of them and maybe make a couple small adjustments. Okay, now this is subtle. This is pine cone. This one gives a real nice boost to the mid-tones and the skin tones. This is pancakes. Pancakes is a real warm toned preset. Just gives like a really nice creaminess to the photo. This is full moon. It's kind of the opposite of pancakes. This one gives some deep blues to the image and quite a bit of contrast. This is half moon, so it's just a little bit less intense than full moon. I'll show you the before again so you guys can remember. All right, moving on to daydream. That's the raw image, that's after. Now, daydream brings in some warmth to the image and it also brings in a bit of contrast. I feel like that might be a little too warm, so I'll take down that temperature just a bit. Go on to daylight. Daylight's really similar to Daydream, just a little bit less uh, contrast. Moving on to Cat Lady. Cat Lady has a bit of a shift in the blues. You can't really see it here, um, but I'll show you on the next image. Cinemagic. This is another flatter preset. Has a bit of green tones to it. More after. Crimson Wave. Crimson Wave is a preset I mainly use for images that are shot in really, really dark light, and I intend to keep them pretty dark. Um, and I just use Crimson Wave to give a really, just a little bit of, of deep reds to, to the image to, to bring it up just a little bit in warmth. All right, moving on to Dusty Attic. Dusty Attic is that's a little bit indicative of its name. It's a little bit vintagey, a little bit dirty. Um, before, after, I like that one. All right, moving on to the black and whites. We got black and white contrast AF, really contrasty one. This one sometimes looks really good if you bring up the exposure. And we got timeless. Timeless is kind of a all around good black and white. There we go. Let me just click through those one more time for you. Lovers, subtle, pine cone, pancakes, full moon, half moon, daydream, 
Daylight, Cat Lady, Cinemagic, Crimson Wave, Dusty Attic, Black and White Contrast, and Timeless. All right, let's move on to the next image. And I would like to kind of do the same thing here. Just do a quick scroll through of each of the presets on this one, and then we'll get to editing the set. Um, alrighty, so clicking on lovers from the raw image, I'm seeing that this one has quite a bit of magenta in it, as Canon files tend to. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit in tint to the greens, and bring up the temp just a little bit. Bringing down this tint often helps with uh, skin tones. If you're having a hard time getting that really golden skin tone, oftentimes uh, the skin is a little too magenta. So if you bring this down, it can help bring that golden tone into the image. And I'll show you in maybe one of these later images. There you go. So let's probably keep it right about there. Cool. Let's move on. And I'll just show you all of these presets again. This one's subtle. Pine cone. Real big boost here in the skin tones. Pancakes. Just nice and warm. Full moon. Very deep dark blues. I like that contrast on that. All right. Half moon. A little bit less contrasty. Still really lovely blues. Daydream, really nice contrast, but also some warmth. Daylight, similar idea, a little less contrast. Cat Lady, now here you can see Cat Lady and all of its glory uh, showing uh, the shift in the blues here. So the blues are going to look a lot more um, aqua-ish, I guess you would say. And Kelly also has some pretty, pretty deep um, blacks in it as well. All right, moving on to Cinemagic. Crimson Wave. Looks pretty cool on that one. Dusty Attic. Probably not the best choice for this photo. And the black and whites. And timeless. Very cool. All right. Okay, we're gonna move on and just start editing some images. And we're gonna start with lovers with this photo. And this is a beautiful photo at sunset. I'm seeing that it is quite magenta in the tone. So I'm going to bring back that tint just a little bit, probably to around zero. And I like that. And since this is a sunset photo, I think we need a little bit more warmth to it. So I'm going to bring that up. Oh yeah, right there. And if you're like concerned, like how far you should go with the warmth or how like cool you should go, really, this is something you should just play with. Like bring it up to like an intense amount just to see what it looks like and bring it back down to like really blue. Maybe not that blue, but like down here and see what that looks like. Play with it. See what, see like what you're really drawn to because images like this could go really bright and you can edit it like this or you can bring it back down to where you can only really see the light on her hair, you know? Um, it's up to you. For me, I'd probably bring this right about right about here. That looks pretty good to me for after. And I'm gonna move on from there. Okay, we're gonna edit this one with subtle. And what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of that tint back. There's a lot of green in this image already. It seems counterintuitive to bring the tint back more green, but it actually kind of adds to it. So that's before, that's after. Again, subtle, pretty indicative of its name. It's a very subtle preset. Um, I think I'd like to bring maybe just this blue back just a little bit. There we go. 
that's where we're at. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'd move on from there. We're gonna edit with pine cone on this one. Pine cone brings up the image quite a bit. Um, so I'm gonna have to bring that back. But what I like about this is it brings back the intensity of these like super yellow greens. So the focus is more on them. And I think probably keep all of this just about the same. Play around, see what it looks like with the blue. A little bit more blue, or a little bit more warm. Ooh, that's kind of nice right about there. That's before, that's after. Probably keep it right there. Let's edit another one with pine cone. Okay, cool stuff in Iceland right here. Bring up that exposure just a bit. And I'm gonna bring back these magenta tint down just a bit. And I'm gonna bring this blue back. There we go. So I'd probably leave it right there for after. I like that. That looks pretty good to me. All right, let's move on. So let's edit with pancakes. Pancakes. I, with images like this, I want to bring the whole image to kind of one tonal range. So I'm going to bring up that warmth quite a bit. And maybe the exposure a tiny bit as well. Um, I really like the way this is looking so far. So let's see what it looks like if we bring back the tint just slightly. There we go. Before, after, pancakes is looking good. All right, let's move on. Let's use pancakes again. Pancakes looks really good on images that are pretty bright, pretty deserty, and things that have a lot of skin tone range, you know, like the sand, the dirt, that sort of stuff looks great. Before, after, moving on. I think I had one more example for pancakes because I was really into it when I was putting this set together. Okay. I think this is a really nice example too. Before, after, all right. Let's move on to full moon. Now full moon are originally created to, for images like this where I wanted to, oops, full moon, not pancakes. Images like this where I wanted to have some really deep blues and I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna like lose the integrity of the blues. Um, so this is kind of where I meant for it to go but I was trying it out on some other preset or some other photos and it actually turns out that it looks pretty good if you're trying to edit something that's really, really bright um, and you're kind of going for like an overall brighter image with and trying to tone down on some of those, um, the warmth of the photo. Yeah, I, it turns out it looks pretty good on those as well. So this one I think can go bright or can go dark Kind of just depends on how you play it. I also feel like you can bring the tint either down towards the green or towards the magenta, whatever you want to do. I kind of like it at the magenta on this one. So that's before, that's after. I like that image a lot. All right, moving on. Oh, I think this was also another full moon. I was really into full moon. I just bring up the Temperature a little bit. Boost the exposure for, after. Gives a lot of really nice contrast. One more. Okay. Bring that down. Bring that up. I bring that down a little bit. Cool. Before, after. Looks pretty good. All right, let's move on to Half Moon. Um, I really love Half Moon on images like this. And what I think is kind of fun is you can really go like kind of a 
light and airy um, visual with, with Half Moon. Or if you wanted to, you can bring it down and go a little bit darker. But for the sake, let's go a little bit brighter. And I think this one would look amazing, just a little bit warmer. There we go. This is Half Moon. Before, after. That looks perfect. Here we go, Half Moon, and this is more direct, bright light on these people. And bring this back a little bit. Before, after. Looks pretty good. Might bring the tint back. Might see what the temperature looks like. It's pretty good right about there. Before, after. Cool. All right, let's go to Daydream. Daydream's been my go-to lately. Um, a lot of good contrast, a lot of good warmth in it. Uh, so it's been something I've been kind of starting with. So lucky number seven, Daydream. And for this image, definitely bring up the temperature and probably bring back the tint a bit too. There we go. Before, after. All right. And let's move it on to daylight. You know, this one actually looks good pretty much right off the bat. Daylight is kind of just a version of daydream that has a little less contrast and a little less intense intensity in the blacks. So before, after, it looks really good on photos that are indoors and window lit. Here's an example of daylight just outside in shade for after. It's not as an intense preset, um, but it has really good tones. Okay. Oh, I guess this is also for daylight. Let's see. There we go. Daylight one more time. Bring that exposure down. Maybe a little bit up in the temp. Maybe down a little bit in the tint. Before, after. Could even go darker with this image. There we go. Let's move on to Cat Lady. It's kind of a fun one. We got that shift in the blues. Okay, with this one, we definitely want to bring up the temp a little bit. I think we'd go right about there. For, after. And you can go even warmer. On images like this, like you kind of have to decide Am I gonna go really dark and blue or am I gonna go warm? And I feel like this image can look good either way. It just depends on what the mood you're going for is. Probably leave it about there. All right, let's do another cat lady. So I think cat lady looks really good on like mountains and mountain ranges, just like that P classic PNW uh, color in the greens. Before, after, and, and it's kind of hard to tell, but this one I think has quite a bit of magenta in it. So let me move this back. So magenta was like right there. Let's move that back. Tint back just a little bit. Play with this temp. See what we got. Bring that down. Before, after, like that. Okay. Move on to Cinemagic. This is just a good all around, um, kind of a matte preset, not like overly edited, just a little bit of toning, brings some nice golden tones to the, to the image. This one also looks nice if you have some direct light on a subject. Bring that down just a little bit. Bring that back. Right there. Before, after. 
If you don't like how green that is, you can go back with that. Cool. Moving on to Crimson Wave. Ooh, look at that. That's quite a big shift, huh? And with these images, I tend to kind of go back and forth just to see what's going on. Bring back that, ooh, yeah, when you bring back that tint on this one, the field gets real nice and gold. You can go really dark with it. And lighter looks good too. For after. Crimson Wave, once again, looks pretty good right off the bat. Bring some really nice deep tones, deep reds to the, to the blacks and tries to retain a bit of the blue as well for after. Maybe bring it up by a couple little stops. All right, moving on, Dusty Attic. Looks good, probably leave it just like that. Alrighty, oh, look how cute these kids are. All right, let's go with contrast. Looks pretty good. I love photos of kids where they're just being kids and like she's looking off here, she's looking down. She, none of them are looking at me, except for maybe this guy. Um, anyway, black and white looks great on them. Let's see the Timeless one also looks really nice. For, after, cool. Well guys, I just wanna do a quick walkthrough and show you different, um, different ways to edit with these presets. Um, I'll probably do some more videos showing more in-depth stuff. This is just a real quick, uh, quick and dirty look at them. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get to them and please let me know if you like them. Uh, there's an Instagram, it's at Ladyburn Presets and if you post something be sure to use the hashtag Ladyburn Presets because I am featuring people's work on there as well. All right, thank you so much guys. Have a good one.